do yo what's good y'all man i got some shit i gotta tell y'all today your boy boozy man he's he's different your boy keep getting pulled over keep having stuff in the car keep getting accused of setting people up all kind of stuff man like when you in a position like that you supposed to just keep to yourself stay out the way do your little interviews I mean his music ain't popping like that no more so it's like he just supposed to stay out the way and you know continue to try to blow himself up and promote his brand but nah your boy I don't think he's getting out this time if he do it's gonna be a long time or if he do he's telling on somebody in my opinion um I got a lot of videos I want y'all to check out so y'all need to stay tuned to that like What's y'all opinion on Boozy? Did he deserve it or do y'all not think him? He do. I mean, allegedly, uh, he's been setting up a lot of people. Allegedly, he's not getting the bag like I used to. Allegedly, he's milking off Vlad TV. So, y'all tell me what y'all think, you know, on this whole entire situation with your boy Boozy Badass. I mean, is he badass now he locked up? Exactly. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about these videos, man. Make sure y'all leave some comments. Hit that like button. Keep me in rotation, y'all. And everyone is checking out my videos. Hit that subscribe button, man. It don't cost a thing. It's free, 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 free. Nothing in this world is free, but that is. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Got a lot more stuff I got to update y'all on. Y'all stay blessed. Stay warm. Peace. I'm Boosie in jail. Boosie in jail. Boosie in jail. Boosie in jail. <laughs> Boosie in jail. 16 calls. It was. It was a helicopter. Helicopters. Yeah. Like, you know, and. So I'm thinking, ain't ain't nothing finna go down like this. Man, you know, Boosie always gotta be dramatic, man. He gotta add this little twist to it, like. I don't know, was it really like that, though? Like, if he's saying that they had 16 cars and a helicopter, like, they thought he shot somebody or something? Like, bro, he just shooting a music video. Like, I know Boosie name holds some weight in the South, but, like, I'm thinking Cali not gonna be on that like that. But when we got out of the car or whatever, when all the other officers came to the car, they say we got two guns on the seat. Which wasn't true. No, which wasn't true. Okay. They say they got two guns on the seat, Vlad. Them guns don't come out. If we know we you behind you, if we know the police behind us, what are we going to put the guns on the seat for? If we got a security guard, you know, with, his, with the bag, with everything, why would we put the guns on the seat? You know what this about, you know yeah. What I mean? yeah. Well, I remember, I think some some footage came out from the arrest and you were like yelling at your security guard at the time. What up guys, Kelman West 10 TV. Update on the Boosie uh, uh, case out there out of San Diego, the federal gun case. So he got charged with having a weapon and he's also a convicted felon for having marijuana, like I guess back in the days, whatever. But anyway, um, so in the midst of the trial, the law had changed, which a nonviolent convicted felon uh, can now carry a weapon. So the, the case was dropped. You know what I'm saying? That was just all went in his favor. But the prosecutor now has basically picked, uh, has charged him again with saying a drug addict with, with in possession of a weapon. I ain't even never heard of that. You know what I'm saying? So case got dropped, picked it back up on, and they charged him again. I mean, and I say they want that man. They want that man head. You know what I'm saying? They want him in that box. I mean, boosted, man. Stay off Vlad for number one. And please, man, chill out. Don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't do nothing. And number two, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. You know what I'm talking about? Gonna have to sue people. Yeah. I'm a businessman. I'm trying to get to the level of 50 cent. You're gonna have to sue people. Yeah. He sues people all the time. That's just life. People he sued Taco Bell back in the day. People don't want to take this gangster 
knocked off me. I'm not in the hood anymore. But people aren't smart enough to understand civil lawsuits versus criminal lawsuits. They think bro, of course they don't. They don't understand it, bro. Yeah, I got a back. I got a crazy backlash from people on social media from all my suits that I'm involved in. Not you, Boosie. Like Boosie, isn't this snitching? You telling like this is business? What are you supposed to go shoot the guy because <laughs> like, he owes you money? Come on, it doesn't work that way anymore. Federal prosecutor M. Wheat has indicted me again on the same charge and added a charge that I was around a firearm. Why you didn't charge me with that the first time? The judge has ruled. At this point, you're making this a circus. This has to be unconstitutional. This shows how far these devils will go to try and stop a successful black man with a voice. This man has a serious vendetta of hate against me. If I wasn't boozy, this would not be happening to me. This same man looked at me saying, wipe me down on my first court appearance. He's obsessed. 30 of us on vacation. And I get this news. He put his hardest battles on his strongest soldiers. God got me. So listen. The state had a gun case on Boosie. He beat it. The feds picked it up. He beat that. Now the feds just picked it up again and re-indicted him. Now... Why would they do that? Why are they bothering Bootsy like this? I tell you, because they want more information. They want Bootsy to testify against mob ties. See, Bootsy is a stupid ass person because you remember about five years ago, he was on live and this little rapper named Lil Head Cold said he was gonna harm his son. And you know what Boosie did? He looked at his guys and he said, hey, find out where this dude from. Lil Head Cold, you see him? Where you from? I'm Mike. You know that? Bob and Sister Town? Nap Town? Oh, yeah? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Block it. He said, let me know where you from so I can send somebody at him. And a week later, Lil Head Cold is unalive. What a coincidence. He's unalive. But we got to slow down, though. Let's go before that. Before Lil Head Cold. You remember when Bootsy was on the phone with his daughter's mother? Huh? Remember what he did to his daughter's Mother, brother, Terry boy. I still had to deal with that. That was mixed emotions. I couldn't explain that to my daughter at the time. She was five. You know, your uncle got killed by your daddy. Like, that ain't nothing I could have told her at the time. Remember how he said, how he unalived him? And what he would do to her? Huh? Y'all remember that? How he was talking crazy on the phone? It's on YouTube right now. I could play a lot of this stuff, man, but TikTok, they keep on taking my videos down when I do. So I could just talk about this stuff. I can't let y'all hear it. Y'all got to go find it yourself. He not here no more. His daughter's uncle. He out of here because of Bootsy. Okay, let's, let's, let's fast forward past uh, 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 his daughter's uncle, past Lil Head Cold. We're going to go to Duke the Jeweler. He did it again. He on video during the concert 
videotaping Duke the Jeweler while he's sitting down in his seat enjoying the concert. And him and his boy is laughing, talking about, look at him, look at him, look at him. Now, why would Bootsy stop during the concert and go to a certain spot to videotape Duke the Jeweler? During the concert. And then when he's unalived after the concert, he say he don't know him. Hey, the internet, y'all got us all the way up. Man. We met that dude, Duke the Jeweler, the night before. We was gambling. The next day, dude followed us to the concert. When we left out the concert, we under the garage. Dude went to his car by himself and walked down to the parking lot. That's when somebody tried to rob him and killed the dude. What the hell my 19-year-old cousin gonna try to rob and kill somebody? Bro, we getting money, man. We getting fucking money. That ain't our stilo. As a boss, I ain't letting that go down like that, man. This dude finna make me a piece. He was just some dude that was at his private gambling party. Like any old body can come. Like any old body could get in. <laughs> okay, let's rewind. Let's go all the way back to New Orleans. With Marlo. Remember all the people that he unalive for Bootsy? Nine plus bodies by a 15-year-old, his personal assassin. Bootsy got away with all of that. And he got away with everything I just told y'all. And you think they just gonna let Bootsy get away with it because he a rap celebrity? Mom ties. Snitching on you on a podcast. They let the world know that was your body. Duke the Jeweler was yours. Junior said that was your party. He ain't had nothing to do with it. Don't know the brother, but I know he came down here. Yeah. Things transpired. I don't have no knowledge of it, but they keep talking about this dice game type shit. Yeah. Can you elaborate? Can y'all elaborate on dice game when it's tied to y'all? I know people were associating me with that Duke the Jeweler situation because I went to Labusi pool party and he happened to be there and he happened to be standing on me. I mean, right next to me. The truth is, I never met him before. I had no idea who he is. I didn't even know he was a jeweler until after his passing. And then the night of that game isn't the night that he got killed. He got killed leaving Boosie concert. The next night, because somebody tried to rob him. So now the feds is giving Booty an opportunity to come clean and tell him everything he know about Jake Prince and mob ties. Somebody tell me. Ever since Junior and Jake Prince Sr., came on Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast. Have you seen Bootsy around any of them? Have you seen Bootsy with Mob Ties or Junior or at the clubs anywhere in Houston with them? I ain't seen them. I haven't seen them even speak on them. See, listen, pay close attention, man. Duke the Jeweler was a guest. See, Bootsy told a little bit of the truth that he was supposed to make some jewelry for him. That's why he came down. And he unalived him. He backdoored him. The same way that Junior and J. Prince Sr. and Jazz backdoored takeoff. That's how mob ties roll. That's how they get down. They will backdoor you and act like they ain't know 
who you were or what you was doing there. Huh? How many people think you can go to a private gambling party and stand right next to Junior while he gambling and spending his money? How many people think you can just get into Bootsy's private gambling party at some little private mansion? Huh? <laughs> hey, Bootsy, you going to the pen, boy. If you don't snitch some more, because you've been talking. Plus, takeoff case coming up. It's coming. And they're going to wrap all this stuff up in a nice little tight ball. Rico style. Inside the mafia. <laughs>